Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to say sorry for not posting in a while. I've had some things going on and I've been a bit busy, but I've still been working on some projects in the background. And today I want to show you one of them. It's called Turtle Controller. I was inspired by a project I saw by Automated with a great turtle controlling system using 3GS in a website which displayed the world as the turtle saw it. And then you can control the turtle in an actual world over a web socket and the information is sent through the web socket using JSON. And that was what I wanted to create myself and push myself to make as it was quite looked like quite a challenge. And I wanted to see whether I could get to the same level and make something as refined. Now this project isn't finished and I know that I just want to get it out there now so that you guys can see that I'm still working on stuff and so that you guys can have a go for yourself without having to wait for me to finish it. So first I'll show you the GitHub. I'm slowly moving my code to GitHub to allow me to keep track of the version history. So here we have a simple WebSocket server with Node.js so that I can host the WebSocket server on my computer to make things simple. We have the main program on the turtle which connects to the WebSocket and sends and receives information based on that. We have the JSON parsing. I found this, it's great. It's just I had to copy it off Pastebin because git git can't pull from Pastebin um, and it could get updated, which could ruin all my code. And this is for copying everything to a new turtle once you have the resources. And this is the website itself. It's a Node.js app which this one interfaces with the website and the database where all the block and turtle information is stored over time and it will return to the website anything it needs to know and will update the database based on what the website sends. So here I have the website itself which connects to the web socket and the app.js, the CSS pretty self-explanatory and this is a 3d model for 3js of the turtle and the basic version I made them in blender this basic shapes and then added the textures straight from computer craft I'm going to first install get get on this turtle here And then we are going to copy this here, paste it in to ins use git get to install everything. Uh, so here, got to start up and then everything in the turtle controller file. So we're next going to pull up here, going to start the WebSocket server. You could use something like Glitch or another hosting website so that this works over anywhere on the internet, not just hosted locally, but just for testing this make it simple. I'm then going to start the node app. Now I can pull up the site here, reload. We can see that it has a turtle there which is from earlier testing, there will normally be no turtle, but if there's no turtle in the database, whenever you connect one, it will just build one at zero, zero. So we'll restart this turtle. It has sent out a startup message. We can see in the console that it was received. So we're going to then try moving around and that seems to work. All the movement is pretty simple. Forward and backward are WS, A and D are turn left and right, space and shift to go up and down, 
uh, you can see if the blocks are obstructing anything it won't be able to make that movement I'm pressing shift right now um, and it, so everything is synced with the world so if I press reload everything is stored simple camera movements with rotate and drag now as it's going along obviously you can't survey the whole world as you would have hoped for but the turtle can inspect the block below it in front of it and above it so if we place this here and we move into it we'll see we get these blocks here and if we remove these we'll then update that they're now gone as you can see it's pretty easy to work out which blocks they are they have a random color each as you see if I place a different block it gets a different color so that you can easily differentiate you can see if you hover over the block it gets highlighted red and it will tell you the ID of the block so you can easily identify it dig up dig forward and dig down and it updates as it goes you can place forward place up and it doesn't have any blocks so I'll just put a block in and move backwards you can also place down same with attacking sucking to pick up items off the ground or pull them in the chest and drop those all work you can click new if you want to create a new turtle that's pretty self-explanatory there's refuel so you click refuel and our fuel indicator you can set the 100 percent to whatever you want but also just shows you exactly how many moves you can make we have send code you can enter whatever code you want as long as it doesn't contain those as that's how the message is sent in JSON and how it's passed especially useful if you're using this in conjunction with other mods or you want to interface with the peripheral you can place a sign I'll just put a sign in its inventory this is separate to the regular place command as you can enter text now you can put let's say ye and then if you want a new line you go backslash n and then there we go submit and you can see sign there in future I intend on adding a way to view signs but unfortunately at the moment in computer craft there isn't a way to get that information there's a craft button which is dependent on the crafting system for computer craft now the next two buttons I'll go over there's mine tunnel this will automatically mine a tunnel of a certain distance that you can enter here and then next there is loop which is enabled and disabled and that just means if you have this enabled when you while it's mining a tunnel it will turn around and continue in a zigzag pattern like that with the tunnel until you let go and that's very useful if you want to mine quite useful here we have if we place down another turtle actually let's show off the um, reproduction so we'll grab just a regular turtle as you likely would in the real thing you also need a floppy disk of some kind and a disk drive and now make this a bit bigger for you to see get in a nice open area and you click new and you can see it places the turtle and the disk drive and then it uses the startup program on the disk drive which is what create the create.lua is to load everything onto here and get it ready and it uses its own ID to register there and now we can see it in the list so we'll go to turtle 1 very easy to switch and it will automatically identify whether it's a basic or advanced now we'll give it a 
pickaxe and a crafting table so that it can craft and I'll show off some more of the inventory functions so you can see if we left click refresh hover over things see how many and what there are and where they are diamond pickaxe crafting table you can click transfer uh, 12 and that will pull to whatever one you clicked on and how many you enter there's only one in there but we'll add more and click refresh and you can see there now the highlighted is the current slot you have selected so we're going to go select now we're on that one we'll go transfer let's say 15 and it pulls 15 over there and automatically refreshes we can if we select here we go equip right and then we'll select here equip left super easy um, if you then go equip left it will pull it back out we'll go here there's a drop all drop all of them go forward and oh wait this doesn't have any fuel so we'll drop these here and we'll go suck show off the suck function it should update I need to change that and you can see they've been sucked up into the slot you have selected you can also go drop and we'll just go two and that just dropped two super easy we put them on top so up the drop function here this just drops all this is designed to it gives you less control but it's just there if you really need to drop up or down I will likely change that in future uh, refresh as I said this isn't the most refined thing and there is also a transfer all and that's basically everything to do with inventory I will be adding more to the github so that you can try this out yourself without having to know a bunch about Node.js but until then if you know a bit about Node.js you can play around with this and I hope you enjoyed the video this is a project I'm really interested in and it's really cool and it was a challenge to make but I worked it all out eventually so hope you enjoyed this showcase and I will see you next time.